passion. The hype is real. Blackpink is upon us in full comeback form. Man, you know, there's just some some things in life where I'm just really grateful for. One of those things is I didn't truly become a big Blackpink stan until December of last year. So I didn't have to wait like most of the Blinks did. And I know it was grueling and agonizing to wait for the content to come through. Luckily, I didn't have to wait that long and we got as much Blackpink content as we did recently. And I'm very, very happy. And I know you guys are too, because the hype is real and it is upon us. YG is coming through with the marketing. Everything's looking great. Everything's looking good. Groovy, groovy, groovy. Lisa, Jiso, Ginny, and Rose, they all look really, really good in these concept trailers. And um, I waited a little bit to make like what I really thought about with this, what was going on, um, only because I wanted to have a little more information and more stuff to kind of go off on. It's kind of seeing like a trend of what's happening uh, with the Blackpink comeback. Uh, so from what I know, it's a, th a three-part multi-phase uh, comeback, uh, and it's gonna be having a bunch of things um, going into their eventual uh, album release due in September. And that's really dope, because this will be like the full, really first like fleshed out album for Blackpink, and it's gonna be dope for me. I've been listening to the same Blackpink songs forever, <laughs> and I've loved it, honestly. It's been a great time. Obviously, we wanna have more content, more music videos, more, co more stuff to go off on uh, to give appreciation and love uh, to the four member girl group based in Korea. What I kind of want to do in this video is just kind of talk about the, the comeback a little bit, talk about the concepts that are going on in the, in the teasers and kind of see like what can we expect uh, from the new album and then also some other uh, miscellaneous information. So first I will say this, I know we've had our issues with YG in the past but from several different things uh, with them. Um, they have a lot of pressure <laughs> to be honest, you know, kind of managing this comp this uh, girl group, uh, 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 a global girl group that's loved all over. It's going to be, you know, difficult to kind of like, you know, stay on top of things um, some things there's no excuses for right I won't you know say anything specific but uh, it's you know it is what it is faults aside for uh, YG they have done amazing with these comeback trailers the concepts the vibes have been really really cool different from what we usually see from the colorful rainbow-esque uh, black pink color palette that we're used to and I think this time around it's gonna have like a little more of a you know not a darker feel but more of a I would say like somber chill you know bad girl BB energy and I love to see that honestly because it's kind of like a yin and yang difference um, from what we're used to seeing so you know looking at these kind of like these posters it kind of just goes into like you know when it first came out I was thinking you know okay this is just you know the first part of the teasers and we don't know kind of like what to expect but the YG kind of started releasing more content and it kind of kind of followed the same kind of looks you know release looks so good uh, with this red hair and then you know uh, Rose I mean these it's like the elements right it's just really really cool GC I mean it's like, what can we expect? I feel like the vibes of these teasers are gonna be going hand in hand with the concept of the album, naturally so. And it's kind of like um, confirmed um, from what I've been seeing and they're saying like the video versions of the teasers, the moving images, you know, that use that super cool camera uh, that was used in like the Oscars or the Grammys or whatever. Uh, those teasers are also part of the song, uh, How Do You Like That? That's gonna be coming out um, on the 26th. Uh, so it's really cool to see uh, them kind of like you know putting things together that are like relevant in terms of releases and like what's going to be happening soon so uh, personally i'm a, like a big marketing guy and that's really cool that they're doing that uh, they're obviously going all in kind of makes you wonder how they've been like planning for this the entire time where they've kind of been dormant in silence and on a you know quote unquote hiatus or whatever you want to call it um maybe you know i don't know who's going to who's over there at yg making decisions and shot calls but uh the girls have been doing you know endorsements and you know lisa was just on you with you and they've been moving and doing things but as a group as a cohesive unit obviously now we're getting that content that we desired for so long um and it's you know it's really dope they also had that youtube show 24 365 that's pretty cool too they had a prologue already a new episode's coming out shortly so uh they're like in full force when it comes to you know black pink content and the comeback again we're looking for the uh, album to kind of come out in September but before then we have three phases so first we have you know how do you like that song coming out uh, and then you know we'll kind of just look at these uh, teasers real quick again the concepts of them is just so cool it's like that eerie looking dark s concept you know it's really cool I love this uh, especially this look from Rose here I mean it's super dope and to have that kind of like 
you know stemmed into us going into the 26th release it's going to kind of like familiarize ourselves with the song when it comes out so it's not like it's something way out of the blue it's going to be like we're kind of like you know being massaged into the song that's going to be eventually coming out uh, very soon and whatever they have planned for fallon uh, it's going to be dope obviously they can't come here uh to the states because we have borders locked down and there's corona um but i think for them to move into fallon and the way they're doing it is really dope uh, the last time that they came onto a show like that was with Stephen Colbert and like that, you know, hit you know, records for what it was. And I think Blackpink's one of those girl groups that is just global at this point where it's just like, you know, people are starting to notice them. I know I'm on my Twitter feed. I'm seeing people who have no idea what K-pop is, no idea who Blackpink is, giving these girls love and recognition and even comparing them to some American icons. And that's really dope to see. I think Blackpink is breaking a lot of barriers and their girl group power is definitely, you know, shining through again i just really love the concepts i love the the black and then the recent one was like a neon-esque you know rainbow-esque color palette as you see here uh i mean it just looks really really cool i, I it makes you really look forward to the music video um personally i'm i think that's one of my favorite things about blackpink is their you know just their aesthetic and music videos are just so so cool so whatever they have planned for fallon it's going to be dope I, i'm kind of assuming it's going to be like you know a true performance maybe on like you know uh, showing out uh, maybe like a mini kind of music video type maybe not the actual music video maybe i don't know all we can do is speculate but either way i'm just very very excited and then to have a full album coming out um in uh, september is going to be super dope also a second song is going to be dropping um sometime between july and august before that so that's a part of that three phase uh comeback that we're talking about and man the fans have been going crazy blinks have been going crazy we've all just been just like immersed in this marketing ex expedition that uh, YG has been on recently. I know the album's gonna be a banger. It's one of those things where we can only wait on it. It's not gonna feel like a long wait because we're gonna have many, many things happening in between them. And I know they're gonna be doing other things other than just, you know, song releases, you know, album drops. There are gonna be other sort of interactions. I know uh, the Blackpink girls were on that app where they're like interacting with fans and have the cartoon characters. So little things like that kind of glittered around everywhere. I think uh, Blackpink would be pretty active uh, coming into uh, the phases uh, that they keep referring to but I'm very excited I'm personally looking forward to it if you haven't already uh, check out my uh, reaction to sour candy with uh, lady gaga that song's a banger man it's so dope loop potential and I know the songs that the girls are gonna have it's gonna be insane I know they recorded like 10 plus songs already studio s bam ready to go album full full on throttle it's gonna be dope sick amazing shout out to my girl Lisa so proud of you and all the black pink girls Jisoo uh, Rose and Jenny they are all their concepts have looked really really good um, but um, I'll be I'll be keeping track of what's going on you know when things start banging out I know uh, Fallon's gonna be in a couple days here so I'll be definitely reacting and talking about that and it's gonna be sick and dope if you haven't already uh, like subscribe check me out on other videos I'm very excited honestly I just I even put my I even put on my pink shirt and my contacts lens that's how you know I'm like that excited for uh, it's a black pink content to talk about them but it's been your boy Dontavious be good be safe have great vibes see you on the next time black pink stand blink stand keep it real and I'll see you on the next one sayonara